Hey, what is going on guys? It is your boy King Superior aka the Delay God and I'm back with another video. Now today I'm gonna show you guys this method and how to get your shooting baddies really fast in NBA 2K20 after all the patches, after all the method has been patched, you know what I'm saying, the calling for screen on the wing, they kind of nerfed that, you know what I'm saying. So this is a new method and how to get your shooting baddies really really fast, okay. What you're gonna need for this is the size of package Kobe Bryant. Once you get the, uh, the size of package Kobe Bryant, you're good to go. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up the court and you're gonna call for a screen. Now whichever side the screener decides to set the screen on, whether it's the right side or the left side, you wanna put the ball into the same hand. So if you set the screen on the right side, you wanna put the ball to the right hands. If you set the screen on the left side, you wanna put the ball in the, in the left hands. Now you can decide, you can determine which side you want the screener to set the screen on. Once you call for the screen, just press on the left stick and it's gonna change the side uh, the screen is setting the screen on so you can control that okay but i'm just saying whichever side you decide to call for the screen for whichever side you decide to call for the screen on put the ball into that hands okay so let's say you call for a screen on the right side the ball is in your right hands what you're going to do is you're going to hold the right right trigger or r2 whichever console you're on then you're going to flick the right stick to the right then he's going to get this animation that you're looking at on screen and your defender is going to get stuck on the screen and it's a wide open three it's really really easy this is literally like this is easier than the first method that was popularizing 2K when you go to the wing and call for a screen, he's gonna step back. This method is so much easier. Cause sometimes they wouldn't fall back on the old method. You have to get a specific player to set the screen. This method is actually a better method. I was just in a my career, um, playing the playoffs. I was trying to get my gem out badge and I happened to lose like two plays, two or three plays back to back and I realized he just kept working over and over. So I just kept doing it over and over and they abused it for the rest of the game. Um, it's really easy, man. You know what I'm saying? I said, balls in your left hand, same thing, man. You're just gonna hold RT, flick the right stick to the left, and he's gonna get stuck on the screen. And you can continuously just do that over and over and over, man. Okay, remember, he has a package, Kobe Bryant. Now, one thing you don't want to do with this is call, is activate your takeover. The moment you activate your takeover, you're gonna mess this up completely because as soon as you call for a screen, they're gonna start double teaming you, triple teaming you. You know what I'm saying? And even when your takeover goes away, they're going to continue to double team you throughout the entire game. So do not call for your takeover, bro. That is one thing you do not want to do during this method. Do not call for your takeover, bro. Because they're going to start doubling you and you're not going to be able to get the open shots anymore. They're going to be playing right up on the screens. They're not going to fall back. So do not, I'm telling you this right now, do not call for takeover. Sacrifice your takeover and just work on your baddies, all right? Um... Another thing too, sometimes like later in the game, like in the second half, they might start to uh, press you a lot more as soon as you pass the half court line. What you want to do is just hold LT and kind of like back and down and protect the ball and get closer to the three point line. Then call for uh, then call for the screen and just continuously do it over and over. Anyways, yo, my name is King Sipri. Hopefully this uh this method helped you guys out. You know, it's gonna help you get your shooting badges really faster. I just made a stretch, so this is what I'm currently abusing right now. My stretch to get my badges really fast. My name is King Superior. Hopefully this video did help you guys out once again. Comment, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys later, man. Peace.